Are we done yet? Are we done yet? How about now? Are we close to being done? One small town New England family living out their adventures one day at a time sharing for the whole world to see. This is Build a Lot Acres. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Welcome back friends to Build a Lot Acres. I got my big helper here, Brett. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up the HM130 Max Woodland Mill Sawmill. This is gonna be kind of an instructional video, but it's my first time obviously ever setting the sawmill up. I'm not an expert, so it might take us trial and errors. If you want professional guidance on setting up your sawmill, I would contact Woodland Mills directly. This video is going to be more for entertainment as well as some informative information. So let's get going. Right, guys so here's the deal the m35s are longer 35 millimeters so those are going to go in the middle bunk with the spacer in the bottom the m25 millimeters are going to be for the other bunks let's get them tightened make sure your very center bunk that connects your two angle irons has the four holes per side not two
Maybe we tend to walk in the floor. Let's go to her a little. Ready? Probably. I'm just going around here, checking all the feet, making sure all the bolts are tightened, all the bolts of the bunks going into the rails, making sure those are nice and tight, getting everything nice and level and plumb. And we're also screwing the legs to the wooden frame we made, at least one side just so it's easier to square up and get the other side nice and straight when the time comes in a minute here. Measure corner to corner, square it up. Uh oh, didn't sound good. 234 and a half. 234 and a half. 
So this side is 234 and 38. So let's go. Four and seven sixteenths. Two thirty four and seven sixteenths. Okay, Looks like it could go out a little where that joint is. Yeah, this side needs to come in. Come over here more. I think so. Yeah. Here. Try that. Close. That looks good. Let's check the parallel. Oh. Manual call for 37 face to face. 37. 37. Good. Looks good, yeah. Check the other side. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's good. Yeah. Alright, tighten everything down, and then we can adjust the up and downs with the legs. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's video. We did really well. We got the whole frame all set up. I ended up making a wooden frame out of four by fours and two by sixes to attach the mill feet to so I can adjust it up and down and get everything level, square, plumb, the correct parallel width apart. And I think this is going to work out well because that wooden frame allows it to go up in the air more so I have a higher starting point. So the top of my bunks is about 19 inches. Whereas if you just set it right in the ground, it'd be much lower. You'd be bending over a lot more. Your lower back would get sore. I'm probably even going to raise it up higher. I'd like to go up maybe to 24 inches to the top of those bunks. So it'd be much easier to mill and you can be in a more upright standing position. But the other good thing about this wood and the concrete is I'm going to leave it just like it is. Set up the mill, try it out. That'll give me a chance to see if I like where the mill is. Because if I don't, I could pick it up with my Coyote Forks move it to a different spot and then make sure I really like it and I'll give the concrete a chance to fully cure the 28 days. It's been about one week as of today's video. And then once I know I like the spot and that's where I want it for sure, I can anchor it down to the concrete with some concrete anchors that I bought. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one.